For most in the community, this is the view and impression they have as they walk along the Los Gatos Creek Trail. But if one looks closer, a sad reality awaits. Different streams and creeks around the San Francisco Bay. Unfortunately, though, many are so polluted that rivers once streaming with fish have become a thing of the past. What you're looking at is piles upon piles of used bathroom tissue. Sorry to ruin your appetite. We estimated there to be over 200 campers living on the creek prior to beginning our efforts. Homeowners along the creek were unable to locate support. Apathy prevailed. What are we leaving to our future generations? Our watershed resembles a third world country. It's shocking the amount of trash just a couple campers can accumulate and with the creek's proximity to numerous apartment complexes, the problem is further inflamed. Hoarding behavior is prevalent. Another unintended consequence is the creation of safe havens for criminal activity with hiding places in the midst of our neighborhoods. Why have we handed over our creeks to the people least capable of caring for themselves? This is no place for anyone to call home. Our homeless deserve better. With such an enormous problem, where to begin? We needed to set some goals. First, elevate the standard. Trash around and in the creek is not okay. Find policing partners who will protect the work of reclamation. These are the heroes. Build a monitoring network to fast track enforcement and minimize the accumulation of trash. We would adopt the creek, the trail, parks, from Lexington Reservoir to the confluence with the Guadalupe. Begin making connections with agencies who oversee the creek, city, neighborhood associations. No one in our group will be paid. All monies raised will be poured back into projects. As you can't place all homeless in one classification bucket, the same holds true for encampment choices available to this group. Creek encampment and its impact to our environment needs to be elevated. It's exponentially more problematic returning this resource back to its natural state versus a park or street. Protecting our endangered species from being a food source for this group needs to be included in this discussion. On April 13th of last year, Friends of Los Gatos Creek was launched. We received a year's worth of rejection that day, but signed up 34 volunteers. An idea was hatched, Team 222. Every second month, on the second Saturday, two hours of volunteer work equaled a clean creek. Reports started trickling in from other sites. Major encampment cleared near 880 Freeway. 19 shopping carts pulled from the creek at Hamilton. Prior to this event, one of the cleanup team leaders asked the question, what if volunteers don't come out and support? This was a risk. The whole effort was at a very vulnerable place. Believing we could pull off five simultaneous cleanups in one day was an ambitious undertaking. September saw us at five sites, with 125 volunteers stretching from up on Lexington Reservoir to the Willow Glen Trestle. Prior to this date, the Bascom Bridge encampment had been cleared by the Water District and City of San Jose. We attacked the lower slope, removing two dumpsters of trash or eight tons. One grim realization was finding hundreds of batteries in the creek. How do we educate the public about this activity? Well, let's make art. None of this could have been possible without the commitment from the community and the support from some key volunteers. That one of our team leaders refused to set out a cleanup after having major medical procedures or another spending his wife's birthday morning leading a cleanup. These selfless acts should be an inspiration to all of us. To date, we have held 21 cleanups and removed over 50 tons of trash from in and around the creek. So what does the future hold? Friends of Los Catas Creek will be moving to the Guadalupe River, tapping some of our key people to support this growth. We will launch a community outreach program with San Jose State students. We need to find financial support that will be earmarked at projects that benefit our creek. We will be advocating for a shift of resources to the front end of this effort, having more park rangers and funding OT for the Department of Fish and Wildlife game wardens is the way forward. 
There needs to be a standard that all agencies use as the blueprint. One unified message encompassing all aspects from first contacts, signage, and repeat offender contacts. Currently, we have one group applying one strategy and an adjacent agency using another, which inadvertently is sending a mixed signal. What is the vision moving forward? To successfully restore Santa Clara County's most urban creek into a healthy, self-sustaining Chinook salmon and steelhead stream where the community celebrates the yearly return of these resources. Get the community back to the creek, in particular our youth. There is still much that needs to be done. We are making a difference.